great guy, by the way, great guy. Um, my name's Mark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I told my mates that I wanted to do comedy, they all laughed at me. Well, I'll tell you what, they're not laughing now. And uh, the reason they're not laughing now is because those same mates who laughed at me, um, they were all on Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. <laughs> so, you know, missing, presumed dead. I think I win that one. Um, but let's can't be more. But can't be more. But anyone, um, anyone here smoke weed? Yeah. No. Uh, Stink. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't want to make any enemies of the rest of them, but, you know, you do, in normal life, you do smell a little bit awful, <laughs> to be honest with you. And the reason I mention it, and the reason it affects me the most, is because of the drug that indirectly affects me the most, because the smell travels, and the smell attaches itself to clothing. And, as any of my bitches will tell you, <laughs> I, um, I like... I like wearing heavy-duty, mid-price knitwear. So... <laughs> I'm the prime target for that smell, that smell, which is, um, how do you explain it? Like an, um, a shin pad that's been in the loft since 1996. Like, um, like someone's firebombed a lobster pot. Um, all I'm saying is, you know, if you're my friend and you're going to do drugs, can you not maybe try heroin instead? Because no one's ever come home on a night out and the missus has gone. You smell like a spoon. <laughs> anyway, five minutes, so there's no segue into the next bit, so I'll just have to go into it. Diversity. Anyway, <laughs> as a country, but as a community, comedy, we should be so proud of how well we've done with diversity these days. There's, I mean, the, the gay, lesbian, straight by, they've always been, like, at the forefront, but they're coming more up now. But even the sort of... Dis disabled and neurodivergent comedians, these are the ones to look out for now. These are the ones who are coming up all the time. They're fantastic and it's amazing. They're stealing my livelihood. <laughs> but it's amazing nonetheless. But, uh, specifically, I'm talking about the dis disabilities and the neurodivergent people. They're the ones who are breaking the ceiling in the comedy industry and the these are the ones to look out for next year. Um, but that's only comedy. So there's like sort of different um, industries where they're still struggling to break that ceiling, like the um, the adult film industry. <laughs> so I've started my own production company to try and sort this. Now, bear with me, because this is probably not going to be as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, it used to be a TV show, like a, a TV show, like an internet thing called Girls Gone Wild. And what it was, it was young, fresh teenage Americans showing their delicious frontal lobes to the camera by going, hey! And I thought, mm, fine, if, you, if you're okay there, but what if your chest looks more like a Bo Selector mask? <laughs> what TV show is it for them? So I've created my own um, TV show, and it's called Lewd, Crude, and Disproportionately Boobed. <laughs> and what we do is we go to all these places and we find these girls whose chest looks more like, you know, two gerbils fighting over an empty bag of crisp, <laughs> and we tell their story instead. Yeah? So, for example, the first episode is filmed just, I mean, lit just on the outskirts of the exclusion zone in Chernobyl. <laughs> um, that not that not like Lincoln with anyone no Woke Before You Stroke is the name of the production company if anyone was uh, my name is Mark Quinn thank you very much for listening to me